Well, developing news this morning, the website care.com has wiped out tens of thousands of care center listings from its site. The company that helps people find caregivers and babysitters says they made the move because the posts are unverified. According to the Wall Street Journal, the site removed the nearly 47,000 accounts before the paper published an investigation about the website's limited vetting process of caregivers. Parents here in Minnesota who use the site will definitely see a difference in options. The Wall Street Journal reports the number of listings here dropped from about 3,000 to just 314. You may see a lot of blue today in recognition of World Autism Awareness Day. Some things will be happening at the Capitol to focus on those with the disorder. That's right, Ellery McArdle joins us now. And of course, we're all wearing our blue. We know you got a blue shirt on under that coat, Ellery. Yeah, you know it, Alicia. I got my blue sh shirt on underneath here in honor of my niece, Layton, who lives with autism. But yeah, if you drive around Minneapolis today, specifically at dusk, you're going to see the 35W Bridge will be lit up in blue in honor of this day. But also, I want to tell you what's happening here at the Capitol today. Uh, at 930 this morning, a bunch of families will gather with the Autism Society of Minnesota. That group will get to know their lawmakers and talk about legislation that impacts those with autism. Then at 1 o'clock, a Senate committee will discuss a bill that would fund grants to train emergency personnel to better respond to those with autism who are in crisis or in emergency situations. So a lot happening here at the Capitol today. I uh, also want to mention though this fact from the CDC last April they estimated that one in 42 children in Minnesota is on the autism spectrum. So guys this has a big impact this day for a lot of families, uh, not only in Minnesota, but of course around the world. All right, yeah, Ellery, thank you. Huge impact, and of course, we're asking our Sunrisers to wear blue yep. and share a photo. Use the hashtag Sunrisers. We'll be showing those throughout the morning. Love those photos. The high-profile trial of a former Minneapolis police officer will resume tomorrow. Potential jurors filled out a questionnaire yesterday. There were 66 questions. They range from how they feel about police to what type of experience if they've had, if any, with someone of Somali descent. Mohamed Noor is a Somali American. He is accused in the shooting death of Justine Damon. Tomorrow, attorneys will begin narrowing down the jury pool. There'll be 16 people chosen. Four of them will be alter alternates. The judge expects the trial to take three to four weeks. Here's your local morning rush. Hopkins police say a 62 year old man was drunk and high on marijuana gummies when he stabbed his friend to death inside an apartment. Now Daniel Johnson is charged with second degree murder. The stabbing happened late Saturday night in a building on 7th and Main Street right in downtown Hopkins. Police have not released the victim's name or any possible motive. It's official. Minnesota students will get to start their summer on time. Governor Tim Walls has signed the snow day relief bill into law. It means school districts will not have to make up this year's unusually high number of snow and cold days. The change only applies to this school year. She's one of the best basketball players this state has ever seen. Now junior Paige Beckers has made her college decision and it's not Minnesota. The Hopkins superstar announced last night she's headed to UConn when her high school career is over. Beckers is touted as the number one recruit in 2020 in the entire country. She was well sought after, including by Lindsey Whalen and the Gophers. Chris, thank you. This morning, House Democrats sending out a warning to Attorney General William Barr, turn over the full Mueller report today or face a subpoena. The growing showdown comes after Barr promised a redacted version of the nearly 400 page document by mid-April. We'll live look right now at the state capitol where Governor Tim Walls is preparing for his first state of the state address, which is scheduled for tomorrow. We're going to be actually sitting down with the governor today for a one on one interview ahead of his big speech. Be sure to watch BTN at 630 and sunrise tomorrow to learn more about the key issues the governor is taking on. It's 606. Let's head over to Sven for our one thing weather. Hey, Sven. Hey, we're looking at a warmer day today. Temperatures head in the low 50s at about a degree or two above normal, actually. So we'll take that right. Uh, 52 degrees for high. The winds are going to pick up, though, later in the day, and we could even have a couple of showers later on today as colder air already moves back into the area. But we're talking about a bigger warm up for the weekend. Sounds good. Thanks, man. Recent flooding across the Midwest could force you to pay a little more for meat. An analyst with Price Futures Group in Chicago estimates beef prices could rise 25 to 50 cents per pound. Pork could rise as much as a dollar per pound. However, the American Farm Bureau tells USA Today little change is expected in consumer prices for beef and pork. Everything hinges on damage assessments farmers are conducting, which could take a couple months to complete. 
Wedding season is here. If you've ever had to turn down a wedding invite because it costs too much to go, you're not alone. One in five Americans have had to do that. According to a new survey from Bankrate.com, 30% of those who decline a wedding invite say it hurt their relationship with the bride and groom. Alicia, breaking down the numbers in our digital dive, this means a lot to you because you're currently planning a wedding of your own. And people aren't coming because it's too expensive. <laughs> there you go. No. So how much does it cost if you're a guest and you're going to a wedding? It's not cheap, especially if it's a close family member or a friend. It's about 628 bucks. That's the average. Now, that's not just for the gift. That's for things like travel expenses, bridal parties, all of those showers, and even the wedding day gift itself. So. How can you save a few bucks if you are going to a wedding? Well, here are some simple tips for that. Instead of uh, giving a big gift like Le Creuset, which is on my registry, <laughs> uh, give cash or a check. That is an option. Otherwise, you can uh, consider splitting the cost of a gift if it's something expensive like a Le Creuset pot. I'm just throwing You're that really out there. If my that. family's watching, wow. I mean, like, I'm getting this some. Just get her one already. <laughs> Don't go over the top with spending. So what I'm talking about this is with hotels. Maybe stay at our Airbnb. It might be a little bit cheaper. Or, um, yeah, Airbnb. Or use the hotel booking group rate. Usually brides and grooms, they find uh, a group rate for the, re the rest of their hotel members. Okay, last but not least, don't be cheap. Now, this is big for people because our cameraman who's holding the camera currently says he doesn't give gifts when he goes cheap. to weddings. That's Dude, cheap. I'm talking about you. Don't be cheap. So here's a good rule of thumb. When you go to a wedding, kind of estimate what your the cost of the plate is mm -hmm. and the drinks you're going to be consuming. You always pay for that. And then double that. Yeah. And tip the wait staff. Because then they get a little gift as well. Yeah. Right. You, you got to put a gift on You got to pay for a meal. Yeah. I remember like trying to save money going to weddings, like sleeping in my car and stuff like what? that. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you know, you went out to pay for accommodation. That's oh right. Oh my gosh. So we, of course, asking our sunrisers this morning, have you ever just skipped out altogether because it costs too <laughs> much? You can grab your phone right now. Head to carelevin.com slash vote now. 67% are saying yes. Yeah, not surprising. All right, keep those answers coming. Well, still to come on Sunrise, sneezy, watery eyes, stuffy nose. That's right, it's allergy season. While the springtime nuisance is on the rise. Then steering in the right direction. The revived hope at the state capitol to end a deadly problem on Minnesota roads.